Hello friends, welcome back to online math solve. So we have this interesting equation right here to solve. And then, of course, if you can solve this, just pause the video and then try to see if you can solve the question. And afterwards, come back to the video and see uh, whether your solution and the one we're going to be solving here is the same. Having said that, if you need to attend, do well to like this video and subscribe to our channel. That's actually a cool way to support what we are doing right here. And then we're going to dive right into this video. So m power 2 minus m power 3 is equal to 18. So this is m power 2 minus m power 3. And then I can actually write this 18 as 64 plus 16. Write this 64 here as uh, 2 power 6. Okay. And then I will write this one here as 2 power 4. So moving on, I can actually write this uh, 2 power 6 here as 4 power 3. Okay. And then I will write, I can write this as uh, 4 power 2. 4 power 2 is actually 16 and then 4 power 3 is 64. Next, I'll group them. So the ones I have power 2, I bring them to one side. So if this one comes over here, I will have m power 2 minus 4 power 2. Okay. Minus m power 3. Minus this 4 or power 3. So this is what I have over here. So if, since I've put this uh, parenthesis, I'll change this to plus. Okay, so that of course, when I open the bracket, I'm actually going to be having a minus. Okay, so let me remind you of some algebraic identities which I am actually going to be using. So you note the following. Now, if you have a power 2, minus b power 2 this is the difference of two squares you can actually expand this as a plus b and then multiply by a minus b okay and then when you also have similar expression this way let's say a power 3 plus b power 3 you can expand this to be a plus b and then multiply by a power 2 minus a b and then plus b power 2. So this is the rule I am going to be using to expand these two brackets. So if I expand the first one, what I'm going to be having is m uh, plus 4. And then multiply by m minus 4. Okay. So expanding the second bracket, I'll be having m plus 4 into m squared minus 4m okay plus 4 squared which is 16 so this is what I have and uh, this is still equal to 0 so obviously you can see that uh, they have got some common terms so this m plus 4 here is common so I'll factor that out and then if I bring that out, m minus 4 remains here. So let me write this. This is m minus 4. And then if I factor m minus 4, m plus 4 out here, uh, this one will remain m plus power 2 minus 4 m plus 16. Okay. And this whole thing is equal to 0. So moving on. I will simplify this stuff that I have in a bracket. M plus 4 into, so this is M minus 4. If I open this bracket, I'm going to be having minus M squared minus, or this minus times minus is plus 4M and then minus 16. Okay. And this is equal to 0. So using the 0 product rule, uh, this is actually going to imply that m plus 4 is equal to 0. Or, if I simplify this one over here, I will have minus m squared. m plus this 4m here will give me 5m. And then minus 4 here, minus uh, 16 here will be minus 20. 
okay is either this is equal to zero or this term will also be equal to zero and uh, of course if this one happens uh m will be equal to minus four and this will be the first solution to this problem uh, so what i'm gonna do next is just to go ahead to solve this so that i will obtain the remaining two values of m okay uh, but if you watch very well this is a quadratic equation and i can just first use minus one to multiply through so that this will change to m squared minus 5m uh, plus 20 is equal to zero okay and obviously we can uh, uh, start a here which is the equation of m and we can also extract b here and also c so that we apply the formula method of solving a quadratic equation to solve this okay so continue from here this is m squared minus 5m plus 20 is equal to zero and of course our a will be equal to one which is constant of m squared and then b will be equal to minus five which is the coefficient of m and c will be equal to 20 which is a constant right there so that eventually um uh, uh, putting all of these terms in the formula method m is minus b plus or minus the square root of four uh the square root of b squared rather b squared minus four uh ac all of this divided by two a two times a so m is now equal to minus into minus five plus or minus the square root of minus five power two minus four times one times uh, 20 okay and all of these is still divided by two times one which is equal to two so let me still put it okay now moving on minus times minus is is plus five plus or minus minus five squared is 25 minus four times one times 20 is 18 okay and all of this is still divided by two times one is two eventually m is equal to five plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 80 will be minus 55 and then divided by two okay so i can actually simplify this minus 55 over here so i'm going to be simplifying that as root 55 uh, times minus one okay which of course when i expand that i'm going to be having five plus or minus root 55 uh, times root minus one all divided by two so that what i now have is five plus or minus root 55 and uh, root minus one is actually the complete value i and then divided by two so if i bring them together over here i'm having that m is now equal to uh, five plus or minus root 55 i so and then of course divided by two so that when i simplify them when i i split them up m let me call this m2 if the first one we got will be m1 so this is m1 so this one is m1 okay then this is m2 will now be equal to 5 plus root 55 i 
I divided by 2. Or M3 will be 5 plus 5 minus 5 minus root 55i divided by 2. Okay. And then, of course, our M1 will just equal to minus 4. So these are the values of M, uh, which we've got. So because these ones are complex numbers, because of this I over I, so these are complex values, complex values, okay? Complex numbers. So uh, what I'm going to do is, um, and of course, this one is real number. So what I will do next is actually to confirm that this real number satisfies the problem we just solved. And the problem is just m power 2 minus m power 3 is equal to oh, 18. Okay, so we want to find out whether m equal to minus 4 will satisfy. So this is minus 4 power 2 minus minus 4 power 3. Will this be equal to 18? And obviously, minus 4 power 2 is 16. Minus a minus uh, four power three will be minus sixty four. This will be equal to eight, and obviously this is sixteen plus sixty four. And then is this equal to eight? Sixteen plus sixty four is really equal to eight. So that shows that this real number minus four satisfies the problem. We just hope so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.